Thousands of people are missing in Uttarakhand state where floods unleashed by early and unusually heavy monsoon rains show no sign of abating. The floodwaters have claimed more than 800 lives in the North Indian state. Tens of thousands have been forced to flee their homes. Heavy rains have been hampering evacuation and search and rescue efforts by the army and air force. The fact is that firstly to get this kind of uh, extreme rainfall events happening in June is absolutely unprecedented. The scale of it we don't even know yet. People are reporting back saying that they have seen dead bodies floating. An earthquake measuring 6.2 magnitude struck the northern tip of Indonesia's Sumatra Island on Tuesday. The quake killed at least 22 and has left over 210 injured, according to Indonesia's National Disaster Mitigation Agency. Authorities say the earthquake has destroyed more than 1,500 houses and buildings in central Aceh province. More than 200 had been injured. One woman got the ride of her life when a giant sinkhole ripped open a road and swallowed her entire car. The images are incredible. A car just fell to the street. Panic in the streets of Toledo, Ohio yesterday as a sinkhole opened up in the middle of the road and swallowed a car and its driver without any warning. This is what's left over from Wednesday evening's storm, which dumped inches of nickel to golf ball sized hail on Santa Rosa's downtown. It looks like a winter wonderland from the air. White blankets the streets, parks, and rooftops in Santa Rosa. But this isn't Christmas, it's the 4th of July. This hailstorm was dangerous, stranding drivers first in hail, then in floodwaters. Now, forecasters say it's rare for this to happen. It's just really bad, something that I haven't seen, I've never seen. In my 50 years of life, I've never seen anything like this. Some of the original stained glass windows at St. Rose of Lima Catholic Church were damaged by the hail. The falling hail was so loud, they couldn't even hear the carport collapsing. I looked down and it was just raining hail. I, I had never seen that happen. You know, and I... This is the resort city of Qingdao. As one of China's top holiday spots, China's Yellow Sea has turned green. Algae has swamped more than 28,000 square kilometers. It showed up about a week ago and an army of workers have cleared more than 20,000 tons so far. But there's more to come. Flooding caused by torrential rains in Sichuan province over the past few days has damaged or destroyed hundreds of buildings. Tens of thousands of people have been forced to leave their homes in China's southwest. Collapsing like toy houses. Buildings and bridges are swept away by the force of the water coursing through China's Sichuan province. The landslide and flooding have caused devastation, with local authorities reporting between 30 and 40 people buried in it. How typical is this level of rainfall? Well, we are seeing uh, very heavy levels of rainfall, tor torrential rains since Monday, and it's sweeping uh, across uh, the country. In the next 24 hours, it's forecast that the worst affected areas will see almost 15 centimeters of rain. So it appears that there's going to be little respite there, but the floods are so bad that the rescue equipment is simply being swept away. The downpours of 200 millimeters of rainfall have isolated the Huebi village, turning it into an island. A powerful 7.1 magnitude earthquake has hit Papua New Guinea. The tremor was centered Papua about New 90 Guinea, A 6.8 magnitude quake. People may have felt severe shaking. Heavy rains brought severe flooding to Toronto and the surrounding areas. This was just the first wave of a major storm system that hit at the peak of the afternoon rush hour. It caught hundreds of thousands of people off guard. One of the heaviest downpours in the city's history. More than a month's worth of rain fell yesterday afternoon in just a few hours. Water rose so quickly on some highways that drivers were forced to abandon their vehicles. It's one of those events that it was a major rainfall event. And when you think, uh, you know, climate-wise, what had happened, uh, 
a lot of things had to come together. I don't want to throw out perfect storm, but so many different factors had to come together to enable this event to actually occur. Mexico's Popocatapetl volcano is looking increasingly threatening. The alert level is now at its third highest after the 5,450 meter volcano began spewing smoke and hot ash. Some international airlines have suspended flights. At least six U.S. airlines have canceled flights out of Mexico City and Toluca Airport, affecting routes as far afield as Dallas to Chicago. The volcanic activity could trigger explosions capable of sending out burning hot material over long distances. The alert level was raised. A landslide in southwest China, triggered by heavy rainstorms and flooding, has claimed the lives of 12 people. At least 11 others are still missing. Humans and animals took shelter where they could. Many have lost their homes and possessions. In northern Sichuan, there are concerns that the largest lake in the region is about to flood, putting the lives of 700 local people at risk. Parts of a highway in Colorado were shut down on Wednesday after heavy rain caused a mudslide to come rushing down the embankment. The mudslide trapped more than a dozen cars on Wednesday afternoon. More than a half inch of rain fell in less than 20 minutes on Monday. The mud flowed into 20 houses in this area and more than 160 people were forced to flee a trailer park. Now to that dramatic rescue, a six-year-old boy swallowed up by a sinkhole on the beach. He was trapped inside for more than three hours. And the six-year-old nearly buried under a building's worth of sand. We honestly don't know exactly what happened. This is unprecedented. We've never had anything like this. It all took place at the Mount Baldy Sand Dune, located at Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore Park. The dune is the park's tallest, standing at 124 feet along Lake Michigan, equivalent to a 12-story building. They were walking on sand. It just, it just swallowed him up. He was in an upright position and just kept going down. China has been bracing itself for the impact of Typhoon Sulik, which has already caused significant damage in Taiwan. The Chinese authorities say they've evacuated 300,000 people in the southeastern Fujian province. More than 5,000 soldiers have been deployed as a preventative measure. This was the scene in Taiwan as the typhoon struck, bringing strong winds and torrential rain. The whole island was put on alert as the authorities warned of the risk of flooding and landslides. At one stage, 800,000 homes were without electricity. Some breaking news coming into us a magnitude 7.3 earthquake south of Bristol Island in the South Sandwich Island. According to the U.S. A magnitude 5.1 earthquake has struck south of the Algerian capital Algier early Wednesday morning, injuring around. The tremors could be felt 40 kilometers a away major in Algier. Earthquake in southern Peru last night. President, we're evidently shaken. A strong 6.2 earthquake. Twelve people are believed to have died after this bridge collapsed in southwest China. Six vehicles containing 15 people were submerged in the river. Only three people were rescued. Week-long torrential rains triggered landslides and floods. State media reported 86 people have been killed. On the northern coast of France, we actually showed it to you at the top of the show. They heard a rumble and an entire cliff was collapsing. Broad daylight. An estimated 30,000 tons of rock crashing onto the sand. Mexico is investigating the mysterious death of hundreds of stingrays. The animals washed up on the shore of the Gulf State Vera Cruz. Residents and visitors first spotted the dead rays on Tuesday. An earthquake with a magnitude of up to 6.9 has struck New Zealand. The tremor, which lasted for around a minute, sent office workers running for cover. Trains were brought to a halt in Wellington and some damage was reported at the Parliament building. Just one of a series of quakes that rattled the area. The two earthquakes hit China's Gansu province on Monday. 
The 6.6 magnitude quakes have so far killed 94 people. Hundreds more have been wounded, with some estimates putting the number of injured as high as 1,000. China's government estimates at least 380 buildings have collapsed. Hundreds of aftershocks followed the initial quakes. Of the death toll in the region continues to rise. A powerful 6.1 magnitude hit this morning. Flash floods sweep across southern India, washing out roads and forcing villagers from their homes. 200 villages were evacuated. 40 towns remained cut off from the outside world. The rains also hammered the city of Warangal. The flooding follows torrential rains that devastated a vast part of northern India last month. Over 6,000 remain missing. Dramatic footage as a landslide sweeps away 28 houses and six hectares of farmland in China's Sichuan province. More than 1,400 villagers in the Kaupo township have been evacuated after rocks and earth poured down a mountain slope. The South Sandwich Islands regions was also shaken by a series of earthquakes. Morning, the magnitude 6.3 quake struck near the, the region. A series of earthquakes occurred this morning. 6.2 magnitude earthquake. Yet another surveillance video of a car being swept away by muddy water in Yang'an City in China's Shangxi province. After weeks of heavy rain, it's becoming a common occurrence. Four people in a car were driving along a mountain pass when it was suddenly inundated by a nearly minute-long landslide. Rain-fed floodwaters have shut down roads and partially submerged houses in low-lying areas of North Carolina's Catawba County, prompting officials to declare a state of emergency. With large swathes of land covered by muddy brown waters, deep enough in some areas to submerge cars. Catawba and surrounding counties received up to 10 inches of rain on Friday and Saturday, and more rain is forecast for the region. While some shelter from the sun, others are trying to keep dry. A mixed bag of weather is sweeping across Europe, including these impressive thunderstorms, which have thumped some suburbs of Paris. Several areas of France have been on alert. Here in Bordeaux, heavy rain has caused flooding. Here in Germany, things are really hotting up. Experts are forecasting a heat wave with record high temperatures in the neighborhood of 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Here in Rome, too, tourists are struggling to keep cool in the sweltering conditions. 14 Italian cities have been put on red alert. Shanghai has experienced one of its hottest summers ever on Tuesday with a record-breaking heat wave. Temperatures have hit above 38 degrees Celsius for a record seven consecutive days starting last Tuesday. This is the hottest July ever recorded in Shanghai in the past 140 years. The extreme temperatures have already claimed lives. 97% of Queensland recorded above average temperatures. It's a trend being felt across the country, with 2013 shaping up to be Australia's hottest year on record. The trend is nationwide. The country has recorded its warmest ever day, week and month. The scientists at NASA have given us some amazing images, and they've discovered there's actually an enormous dark hole over our sun. What you're seeing is, this is three and a half million degree plasma erupting from the surface of the sun. This part that's missing, the reason it's dark, is that whole chunk of the sun basically ripped off, blew out, and is coming our way at about two million miles an hour. You don't very often see something that big. So this is an incredible chunk of the sun that's flying out.